Hey everyone, I want to talk a little bit about uh, a picture that I posted recently uh, and it has to do with some of the uh, the testing we've been doing at Ascent on the CVAC units or the altitude conditioning. And what I wanted to know is, I was curious, is what would the actual effect be on my blood uh, from doing the, the altitude conditioning? So what I did was, before I started doing the conditioning, I took a sample of my blood and I put it underneath this microscope right here magnified it at 100x so I could get a, a good look at my red blood cells and uh, went through two weeks of altitude conditioning at ascent and this is the result that we got from this this is pretty cool if we look right here I'll try and hold this so I don't get too much glare on this but if you look here you can see this is uh, this is where we started at this is when I started you know and, and the cells aren't, aren't horrible but you know, you can see here that they, you know, they have like the oval shape here. That's called an ovulocyte. Um, if you look down here, there's a little fragility in the cell wall. It's not able to hold that nice round shape. This is really more what we want: is that nice round, solid shape uh, in the blood cell. And we don't want to see them sticking together. And there's some other things that we look for in this. So, after just doing two weeks of the altitude conditioning. Uh, we saw a difference from this to this. So why is that important? So this is what we see. When we're looking at, at, at live blood cells, we know that you need things like your B complexes, folic acid, iron, E, these types of things to form good healthy blood cells. Now, in most cases, you know, a lot of us aren't getting our B complexes uh, and other things, but sometimes we may be getting them and you're having a hard time absorbing them. Now, one thing that's relevant is that I had no dietary change at all. I just kept everything exactly the same in my diet. And so I, we know that that was not a factor in this difference. It was just the CVAC there. And just from doing that, it was able to force the respiration in the cell. So each time you're going up and then coming down, it forces that cell to expand and contract. Um, and that enhances the cell communication and gives it the things that it needs so that it can not only form but maintain good healthy red blood cells. So this is really important for establishing just that foundation that we're looking for to build all your other health protocols around. So this is another amazing tool that we found. I want to share it with everybody. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, we're doing more testing. I'm looking forward to showing with you where we're going to actually show uh, the effect it has on free radical damage uh, in the blood. So uh, stay, keep looking forward to that. In the meantime, just keep doing everything you can to stay healthy and keep moving forward.